couple days ago, Way 4 Amiibo came out and the world stopped. Hood niggas coming up to me when I was in the neighborhood talking about, yo, you Etika, right? Yo, did you get the Way 4? I'm like, yo, what the fuck? Anyways, Way 4 is just, is just totally just, just ruining people's lives right now for more than one reason, obviously. Now, the most rare ones in the bunch, definitely Jigglypuff and Greninja, as they were both exclusives for Target and for Toys R Us. And I think there were, um, were there, if they were pre-orders and they went like that, um, gone in 60 seconds, my nigga. And even the ones that weren't for pre-order that you could just come in and pick up, in my neighborhood, actually, there was a Target where you could just go in and buy them, but they were gone within 20 minutes. And they, when I actually went up to the guy and talked to him about it, I said, hey man, do you have any more Jigglypuff? And he said, no, they were actually gone in two minutes. But, um, you know, obviously we couldn't like give them to everybody when the store first opened. So that's what made it take 20 minutes because, you know, we had to actually get the stock and whatnot. So it's like, okay, anyways, so Wave 4 is definitely ruining shit. And we're talking about Jigglypuff specifically because apparently it smashed the records at Target.com for some reason. Let's take a look here. Nintendo seems to have struck gold with their Amiibo toy line. We obviously know this, of course, Nintendo news. Um, this will be linked in the description. It's a great chance for fans to pick up officially licensed figurines of their favorite Nintendo characters. And I don't know how Nintendo didn't think that this would take off. I mean, I didn't even say I wanted Amiibo. Then my girlfriend bought home a couple, and now I'm a fucking fanatic. Um, I actually got me a couple of Wave Fours as well, too. I got Robin, Lucina, and uh, Pac-Man, along with, um, what the hell? Um, there's Robin, Lucina, Pac-Man. We also got Ness and um, we got the silver Mario Party Mario, but we didn't get our hands on Jigglypuff or Greninja. I really... We oh, we got all of them? Except Jigglypuff and Greninja. Except Jigglypuff and Greninja, yeah. So, I mean, you know, I, f I really feel like I want to get my hands on them. There was a store that apparently had them, but wasn't exactly too sure. Like, the, a store called Bullyproof. We thought that they would have them, and we never really got any follow-up. I don't know if they really had them or not, but if they did, they're gone with like that. So, I mean, anyways, as it's fairly known by now, some Amiibo are harder to locate than others. No shit. <laughs> no fucking shit. I mean, I'm only just now getting into the Amiibo hunt myself, so I'm a little bit greenhorned when it comes to it. But I know there are some people out there that have devoted their lives to this shit that are going to these random store locations every day trying to hunt down these rare amiibo and to you guys you're the true mvps because holy crap man to invest that many hours into it it takes something other than passion to do that it takes it, it takes obsession <laughs> but anyways um the recently released jigglypuff amiibo is bound to be one of those super rare figurines this amiibo is a target exclusive as i said earlier and when pre-orders went live the amiibo sold at a lightning fast 500 units a minute my nigga 500 of them things were ordered in a fucking minute. This makes Jigglypuff the fastest selling item in Target.com history. <laughs> Holy shit. This is fucking ridiculous. This is fucking crazy. Damn. Not only that, but the Jigglypuff Amiibo garnered the website over a million views. In comparison, the second highest rated item gained a mere 20,000. Holy shit. This is the first time we actually, I didn't know this. I'm reading this for the first time. Holy fucking shit. Nintendo, what are you doing out here? Holy shit! The Jigglypuff is not the only exclusive coming to Target, but the neat, but the next exclusive amiibo is unknown as for as of now. Are you going to try getting your hand, getting a hand at picking up a Jigglypuff? Perhaps you should consider getting a Moonstone to go with it. Nigga, damn. So Jigglypuff is the fastest selling product in Target.com history, with 500 units a, a minute being sold. <laughs> Holy crap! And it got the website over a million views. And in comparison, the second highest rated item gained 20,000. The contrast here is so goddamn ridiculous. It makes you wonder if the numbers are fake, but they can't be like, oh, oh my God. You know what, man? Nintendo, they struck gold with this shit. And I just wish that their supply could meet up with that, this immense demand. There was no reason on the face of this god green earth that Nintendo could not have known about the demand for Wave 4. They saw how the Amiibo went beforehand, and if they're constantly putting these things out at such a limited supply, then they have to be at blame for this, man. They know how many people want these things, or maybe that's just part of their scheme and just try to get the Amiibo to be a valuable product online or in the, mar the market or whatever, because you know, I mean, obviously them not supplying them for everybody means that the Amiibo are going to be more rare, more people fighting for them, more scalpers, etc., etc. Either way, they're making their money off of them, although I don't know if they produce the amiibo at a profit or not like how much does it cost nintendo to actually make an amiibo it's got to be different for each one because obviously to make rooflet would be different from making uh 
Pac-Man, because Pac-Man obviously doesn't require as much in intricate detail as a human character like Robin or Ike or Mirth <laughs> or Lukina. So um, anyways guys, let me know what you think about this. Did you get a Jigglypuff Amiibo? If you did manage to snag one when Wave 4 was released, then I hate you and get the hell off of my channel. I'll talk to you in the next video. Take care of yourselves and of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.